Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we are going to discuss the solution of Pure Mathematics 1 Feb March 2021 that is 970912. So let's start with the question number 1. And here is the question number 1 A part. Find the first three terms in the expansion in ascending powers of x of 1 plus x to the power 5. So if it is 5 we know the Pascal triangle the coefficient for 5. It is 1, 5, 10, 5 and 1. So if, if it is 1 plus x to the power 5, then it is going to be 1, this coefficient, into this 1 to the power 5 and x to the power 0, plus this coefficient 5 into 1 to the power 1 power less and x power increased by 1 and plus the next term 10 and 1 to the power 3 multiplied by x to the power 2 plus and so on we don't require because they have asked just for the first three terms so we'll simplify it 1 into 1 to power 5 into x to the power 0 it or it is completely 1 plus 5 into 1 to the power 4 x so it is only 5 x Lastly, 1q1, so 10 into x square is 10x square. So that's the answer for this. Let's discuss the b part. Here's the b part. Find the first three terms in the expansion in ascending powers of x of 1 minus 2x to the power 6. So again, we can use the Pascal triangle for the sixth coefficient. Uh, or we can use the binomial expansion as well but we have just used Pascal triangle for 5 so we can make the next one for 6 it was 1 5 10 5 1 so the next would be for 6th power it would be 1 1 plus 5 6 5 plus 10 15 10 plus 5 again 15 and 5 plus 1 6 the last one is 1 so from here we can see it can be written as 1 I will use the square bracket 1 plus minus 2x whole to the power 6 so it is going to be 1 multiplied by 1 to the power highest that is 6 into minus 2x to the power 0 plus the second term that is 6 coefficient is 6 and 1 power is reduced by 1 and the second one minus 2x this would be 1. The next one 15. So coefficient is 15 into 1 power is reduced. It become 4 and minus 2x to the power it become 2. Since we require only first three terms so 1, 2, 3. We all uh, we have got those also we will write we will simplify these only. 1 into 1 to the power 6 1 minus 2x to the power 0 so again 1 it is 1. 6 into 1 power 5 that is 6 into minus 2x so it is minus 2x minus 2 into 6 minus 12 and x here it is minus 2x square that would be 4x square and it is 1 to the power 4 that is 1 only and 15 so 15 4 is a 60 and it is x to the power 2 so that's the answer in ascending power of x now let's see the c part hence find the coefficient of x square in the expansion of 1 plus x to the power 5 multiplied by 1 minus 2x to the power 6 so from the first uh, part we have seen the coefficient uh, we have seen the term first three terms of 1 plus x to the power 5 it was 1 plus 5x plus 10x square plus and so on we will not write the next terms and from the b part we got it as 1 minus 12 x plus 60 x square plus and so on we don't require the other terms we'll see because uh, we require only x square coefficient so if you multiply 1 by 60 x square then also then we'll get x square coefficient term and then 5 x into 12 x then also we'll get x square and the last one 10 into 10x square into 1 will give you the x square term. Otherwise, we will not get x square. We will get, we'll get something else. So, 
now we are going to simplify only those so 1 into 60 60 x square 5 x into minus 12 x it is going to be minus 60 x square and the last one 10 x square into 1 would be plus 10 x square plus and so on other terms which we don't require so the lastly we can see if we simplify these two will be cancelled 60 and minus 60 x square and then it is 10 x square plus and so on so the coefficient coefficient of x square is 10 sorry 10 only there should not be x square because we are only telling the coefficient so 10 is the coefficient of x square in this expansion i hope it is clear let's do the next question now and here is the second question by using a suitable substitution solve the equation and here we can see 2x minus 3 whole square again 2x minus 3 whole square and if we see the same thing twice we can take that we can substitute this value as something else let's take 2x minus 3 whole square as t then this whole equation become t minus 4 over t minus 3 equals 0. Now we have t in denominator, we can take the LCM or we can multiply throughout this equation by t. So we will get t into t, t square minus 4 by t into t is only minus 4 and t into minus 3 is minus 3t and then 0 into t is 0. So we can rewrite it as t square minus 3t minus 4 equals 0 and now here we can see we can factorize it easily because it's 4 and 4 can be splitted as 1 into 4 and if we subtract to get minus 3 it is going to be minus 4 plus 1 which which will give us minus 3 so it can be uh, 4 minus 4 and t so we can write it as t minus 4 t plus 1 equals 0 and hence we will get t equals 4 and from here the next part t will be minus 1 which is not possible because t is a square number so if t is a square number it cannot be negative so only possibility is when t is 4 it means we will put 2x minus 3 whole square as 4 it means 2x minus 3 would be plus minus 2 either plus or minus so from plus we will get 2x minus 3 equals 2 which will give us x equals this is 5 so 5 upon 2 and if we take minus so 2x minus 3 equals minus 2 means minus 3 will go there plus 3 so 2x equals 1 means x equals 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 we can give our answer till here also so that's the solution now let's discuss the third question solve the equation tan theta plus 2 sin theta over tan theta minus 2 sin theta equals 3 for theta in 0 to 180 so in h level we know only two identities one is tan theta is same as sin theta over cos theta and next one is either sin square theta or cos square theta plus sin square theta cos square theta plus sin square theta is same as 1 so we are going to use these identities only so first thing we can see tan theta so we are going to convert tan theta into sin theta sin sin theta over cos theta so this equation become sin theta over cos theta plus 2 sin theta whole upon this upon sin theta over cos theta minus 2 sin theta equals 3 so we can simplify it now we can see the sin theta is common in the numerator sin theta common we got 1 over cos theta plus 2 
whole upon again we can see sin theta common in the denominator as well sin theta common it is 1 over cos theta minus 2 equals 3 so we can cancel sin theta sin theta because sin theta will never be 0 between 0 and 180 uh, if it is inclusive then it can be 0 but it is not included 0 and 180 is not included so it will never be 0 and hence we can cancel it otherwise we cannot cancel it. So if we cancel it, we will simplify it now. Cross multiply this thing. So it is 1 over cos theta plus 2 equals 3 times this whole. That is 3 over cos theta minus 3 to the 6. So let's take minus 6 that side and 1 over cos theta this side. We will get 6 plus 2, 8 equals 3 over cos theta minus 1 over cos theta is 2 over cos theta. So 2 1 are 2, 2 4 is 8. So it can be again cross multiplied and we can get cos theta as 1 over 4. So from here we will get theta as cosine inverse of 1 over 4. And this we will calculate from calculator. This cosine over cosine of 1 over 4 this value is 75.5 degree and for since it is cos and in co uh, for cos the next angle is next angle is 360 360 minus theta that is 360 minus 75.5 which will always be greater than 180 so which is not going to fall in this interval so we'll only consider our solution as theta equals 75.5 degree. No other solution is available here. I hope it is clear. Let's discuss the next part now. And here is the fourth question. A line has equation y equals 3x plus k and the curve has equation y equals x squared plus kx plus 6 where k is a constant. Find the set of values of k for which the line and the curve have two distinct point of intersection. So we will take the condition one by one. For point of intersection, we need to equate the curve. So if we equate the curve, we will get x square plus kx plus 6 equals 3x plus k. And here we can see this is going to give us a quadratic equation. It's in x. So we can make it quadratic in x first of all. It is going to be x square plus it is kx and it is minus 3x so we can take x common so k minus 3x plus 6 minus k equals 0. So now it is quadratic so we can use the another property that is for two distinct point we have the discriminant b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. So here we can write a value b value and c value. A is the coefficient of square term that is 1. B is the coefficient of x that is k minus 3 in this case. And the C is the constant term. So it is 6 minus k. So for two distinct point, for two distinct roots actually we can see that roots would be the point of intersection. So for two distinct roots, b square minus 4ac should be greater than 0. Or if we substitute the value, we will get k minus 3 whole square minus 4 times 1 times 6 minus k should be greater than 0. Or we will simplify it, we will get it as k square minus 2ab so minus 6k plus 9 minus 4 6 or 24 and plus 4k should be greater than 0 or now we will make a make it as a quadratic in k that is going to be k square minus 6k minus uh, minus 6k plus 4k is minus 2k and this is 9 minus 24 so 9 minus 24 is 15. It is going to be minus 15 greater than 0. So we can see we'll, if we draw the 
sketch the graph of this quadratic in k so if it is quadratic in k the graph of it so we require these two points that is called root if we get the root for this equation inequality greater than means we require for these part of the graph we require x values these x values so we require the roots so for roots for roots we will solve k square minus 2k minus 15 equals 0 and that is we will we can factorize it as k we can see 15 and this minus 2 so k minus 5 and k plus 3 so we got two roots as minus 3 and 5 so the k values we can see from here less than minus 3 will get greater than 0 for greater than uh, 5 again we will get this quadratic graph as greater than 0 so the value set of values of k would be k should be less than minus 3 or k should be greater than 5 these are the set of values of our k for which the line and curve have two distinct point of intersection i hope it is clear